Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology again. Nice to see you back after a month, two months. <laughs> I know many of you have missed my videos and I have missed you more than you have missed me. But I was busy in travel throughout the holy land of India in Uttar Pradesh and Ujjain also. So I had an amazing, amazing, amazing time. I met so many people there including Krishna Guruji and yes, Pandit Sanjay Raji also. So finally here, I am back making videos from Gottingen only for you. <laughs> so the other day somebody had asked me that now Mars has moved into the nakshatra of Shravan and very soon it will go into Dhanishta nakshatra and how to see this transit because Mars and Ketu has been crazy for some time. <laughs> At least it has been for me. I don't know for uh, other people, but for me it has been totally crazy. And it's still quite crazy enough. Okay, so this is a short transit, but it is an important transit. That is why I'm making this video. All right, so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation or you want to see the books, or the book which I have written, Five Exotic Secrets to Happiness. Did I spell it right? Then you can go to my website. You will find the link to the website in the description section of this video. Oh, after so long. <laughs> and before I begin, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him definitely in this transit. Okay, so now what is happening in the sky? It's Mars and Ketu, they are conjunct. Although Mars is direct now but it is still with ketu okay so mars had crossed uttara shada and it has entered the next nakshatra in the zodiac sign of aquarius sagittarius no it's capricorn so when mars entered uttara shada and then ketu was also there so suddenly uttara shada is related to declaration of victory war that is more of Purva Shada, but in Uttara Shada, there is consolidation of the existing victory which we hold. So, it's like saying, whichever houses Mars is ruling in our chart, those houses gave us a feeling that, yes, you conquered. So, when Mars entered Uttara Shada, we are like, yes, I have won it. <laughs> but then, there's Ketu also, you know, Ketu gives this feeling that, no, you are still not good enough. So you are like, yes, I won the battle, <laughs> but I still didn't win. Or you would have got a feeling pertaining to those houses which Mars is ruling that you won the, what they say, no, that you have won the battle, but you have lost the war, something like that. Or you won, you got what you wanted, but you are thinking that, is this what I wanted ultimately? Or is this something better? Or is this totally something which I never needed but I just wanted? Yes, very confusing. Yes, yes, I know that. <laughs> it's confusing for me also. It's confusing for everybody. Many people have been asking me this question. So, whenever Ketu is there and any planet is transiting in that nakshatra in the where Ketu is placed, like in this case when Uttara Shada comes into picture, it's like saying that it's like a headless victory which we don't understand or we are confused basically because Ketu is headless. So what can happen is depending on our ascendant, whichever houses Mars is ruling in our chart, we can feel that even after achieving that which we wanted because Mars is exalted here, yes, we even after achieving we feel that we are somewhere, we are lost somewhere or we can feel that we still have to uh, get so many things which we have not yet achieved or we can feel that enough is enough either of this can happen because both are very fiery energies you see and when they collide it's like it's like a bomb bang so now mars has entered shravan thankfully so because of that now what although the conjunction is still valid okay i'm not saying that it is out it will only be out when it crosses capricorn totally because ketu is going to stay till february or march next year but as of now mars is in shravan 
so because of that what will happen is now it is highly recommended that we sit down and we start thinking of the things which we achieved in the domain of mars just check whichever house is mars is ruling in your chart so if suppose you are a leo ascendant for example and i'm not going to give every ascendant voice okay i'm just giving an example suppose you are a leo ascendant then mars is your your karak planet yes for leo and cancer <laughs> your karak means the planet which simultaneously owns a kendra and a trigon i have made a video on yoga karaka planets if you have not watched it then please go and watch it okay so for leo ascendants mars rules the 10th house and the 13th house right no no 4th house and the 9th house because of that it is very powerful because it's ruler of a kendra and a trigon so activities in our life the actions and trikona shows the blessings from gods both the things are there in this planet so now this planet is was uh, exalted as we know mars is exalted even now so something to do with your homeland or something to do with spirituality fourth house is homeland your mother ninth house is your father okay so these areas could have undergone a toss and then you would have felt yes i did it and then suddenly you were like is this what i wanted or maybe you were thinking to change a place of residence and you thought yes it is good for me to change it and i changed my place of residence but then i am not happy there or do i do i stay there or should i go back there go from there to my original place so these questions can ponder okay i am just giving an example for leo ascendant so now as mars enters shravan it is highly recommended that we take a reality check of the areas which mars is ruling in our chart and once we do that because shravan nakshatra deals with sitting peacefully and it's listening shravanam that is the meaning of the word shravan yes it is hearing so we are thinking well, what's going on because see when mars continues in uttarashtra that hangover is there yes we conquered we won it we have destroyed we have killed we have finished but now is the time when we actually sit and think that did we need to go this far or was i too obsessed with the areas which mars rules in our chart yes or do we need to slow down because when a planet is exalted we feel that we have conquered everything related to that and because mars is the soldier we will feel it on a literal level that we have had a victory or a failure either of that but because of presence of ketu which is this planet of spirituality it can show us that look you are too much obsessed with this you got it now see what's happening nothing's there on the plate so irrespective of the victory we may feel that this was not needed at all at the first place so now whatever has happened has happened we don't have to obsess too much with that but now we need to take a reality check and then when it crosses shravan and goes to dhanishtha then we can recelebrate our success all right because dhanishtha is the nakshatra of celebrations but dhanishtha has also to do with the drums kettle drums lord shiva's dambru yes well that 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 has many meanings it doesn't it does not only mean on a literal sense music it means but even on a ideological sense it means that sometimes when a planet is transiting in dhanishtha check whichever houses mars is ruling in your chart it can happen when it goes to dhanishtha from shravan okay i don't know the dates you can check that in panjang calendar also when when mars starts transiting dhanishtha which will be from capricorn and then it goes to aquarius you can have this tendency especially when mars is transiting in the capricorn part of uh, dhanishtha okay because dhanishtha starts from capricorn and then it goes to aquarius especially in that part within capricorn because ketu is also in capricorn okay we can have this tendency to boast too much about our achievements regarding the houses which mars is ruling in our chart because they say that work hard and let success make the noise should i repeat let success make the noise 
Don't tell me your plan. Show me the results. This is what Raf Smart says in his channel Infinite Waters. Very nice channel it is. So we need to take care when Mars enters Dhanishtha that we do not boast too much, especially in the part where Dhanishtha is. I mean, in the Capricorn part, because. Ketu is already there. The sense of headlessness is persisting, and then suddenly we enter Dhanishtha, where we we not only think that we are victorious, but now we are starting to celebrate. And then the more we obsess ourselves and others with that so-called victory, we get more depressed. All right. So check whichever houses Mars is ruling in your chart, depending on your ascendant. Just relax. the world is not going to end the world is not going to collapse even if those houses do not function now all right so don't obsess too much take your calm be humble and by that you will be able to understand this transit better because when mars enters the aquarius zodiac sign when then also the nakshatra of dhanishtha will persist there then it's fine but till the time it is in capricorn we need to make sure that we do not obsess too much all right otherwise afterwards it can happen that people ask us oh you said you got this but then what happened now and you are like oh yeah i got that but but there's some problem you know it, it was just taken away from me or or anything can happen like that okay so do not obsess too much regarding the houses which mars is ruling and this has been a challenging transit i know and it's not going to last for long but especially till the time it is in capricorn i guess till november first week or so whatever it is let us not obsess too much and and why i'm making this video is because many 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 people have been messaging me regarding this and they have told me to make videos for this transit although it's a very short transit for another 15 20 days but still they are requesting me that is why only for you people i'm making whoever has requested me this video okay so the bottom line is we need to relax and we need to understand that the world is not going to end if we do not become victorious regarding the houses which mars is ruling in our chart okay and we need to maintain our calm be peaceful be humble be very realistic and by that we will understand that victory is not always necessary sometimes it is though <laughs> okay or it can happen on the other end also that you are you uh, see failure and then you become obsessed oh my god i failed and then you broadcast to the entire universe yes when dhanishtha starts oh i failed you know in this area i am good for nothing i am totally useless in this area no it doesn't it doesn't work that way hold on don't go on that side the other extreme boasting 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 look i did this i look uh, look i did that suppose mars is your 10th lord oh my god that's it end of the story yes i did this in career no just hold <laughs> or suppose you got fired from your job yes no problem god will give you another job don't worry okay so this is what i wanted to say that do not become a victim of inferiority complex or superiority complex understand that these are two sides of the same coin basically we need to get rid of self obsession during this transit all right because it can happen sometimes when planets like mars transit into its sign of exaltation okay so there you go if you have any questions queries or comments then please let me know and if you are new to the channel then please hit the subscribe button i hope i will hit 15000 subscribers soon <laughs> and if you like my videos then uh, share it with whoever you are interested or whoever you know is interested in knowing astrology and if you want a consultation then please go to my website you will find the link to my website and the book which i have written in the description section of this video below and before i end as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him during this transit also okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you